Hey Catalyst, welcome back to Catalyst Gaming. This is Jacob the Blue Wizard and I'm here to react live to the Microsoft E3 conference. It's just gonna be me here today, like it was last year for the Microsoft one. I think it'll be the same for the Sony one. Uh, and just ahead of time, I apologize for the webcam. I'm not gonna be doing it as fancy as I did last year. It's actually easier for me to edit up here in my office right after each conference. So uh, for th uh, this one and probably Sony, I'm probably just gonna uh, record my live reactions up here in the office. That way I can just edit them right after and then just try and get them up on the exact same day that the conference happened. It's just easier for me to do that. Um, unfortunately, lighting isn't the best in my office, so I apologize for that ahead of time. Maybe I can try and brighten it up during post-production, but uh, there's no, not gonna be a green screen behind me like there was last year, so uh, production won't be as good. I'll also be using the layout that we usually use for streaming. Again, just to quicken the process because it's easier for me to just put it all together, just edit out stuff I don't want in there, and then just throw it up on YouTube afterwards. That way I can try and uh, make them, the videos, a lot closer to the original conference times than they were last year. So, uh, also, before we get started, uh, the link's probably going to show up on the screen right now. If you haven't joined our Discord, go ahead and join us. We have started up some channels, chat channels, specifically for E3. So you can join our channel, it's open to the public. Any callus is free to talk about E3 in there. We have one for each of the big three, so uh, Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo, and then we have another channel just for all the other conference news that comes out. Uh, so feel free to come in to our Discord, hang out with us, geek out with us with all this news coming out, whether intentional or not, uh, whether it's leaks or rumors or official news that comes out from the conferences themselves or the developers. We're just going to be talking about E3 the entire week all the time that E3 is going on, sharing news, sharing what we think is going to be happening, uh, what we're excited for. Um, and with Microsoft today, uh, I actually think I'm least excited for Microsoft out of the big three. I think I'm more excited for the Nintendo Direct and the Sony PlayStation conference. Uh, but that just gives Microsoft a lot of room to, you know, impress me, show something I wasn't expecting and then give us news about a game that didn't even cross my mind. So without further ado, let's get started with the Microsoft press conference for E3. Ooh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Got Halo? Uh, no, no, not Halo. Maybe it is Halo? I still don't think it's Halo. There's a strong emphasis on uh, animals. Cabela's Hunt. 2018. Oh. Well, maybe it is Halo. Can't tell. I'm gonna just stop saying Halo. Until we see a Master Chef. Alright. Now I'm starting to think it is. That one game I will not mention. Okay. It is Halo. Whoa! Oh boy. They really did not wait. Wait a second. Is this a new Halo or is this a remake? Oh look, a Halo! Halo Infinite. Interesting. And that's all they're gonna show, because it's probably releasing in 2019. Powered by the Slip Space Engine. Cool. Just make it better than Halo 5 was. The head of Xbox, Phil Spencer. Hi, Phil. It's been about a year since I last saw you. <clears throat> oh, everyone's wearing similar shirts. With Halo Infinite, we will join Master Chief 
on his greatest adventure yet <laughs> save humanity. That's what I say every game. We're now 50 games. 18 titles with exclusivity. And 15 world Better be good exclusives. <sighs> Some Excuse me. Exclusive. Exclusive. Sometimes Microsoft doesn't have the best conferences, but I do like Exclusive Man. Ooh! I can only imagine what game this could be, Ori. I wonder how much of uh, Exclusive will actually be on Xbox and PC. Come in Xbox store. If you hear thunder out there, I apologize. Hopefully the thunder in the game is blocking that out as well. Man, I really still need to play the first game. Maybe I'll do that live on stream sometime. Well, maybe I'll join Joe, because I know Joe wanted to do this game on stream. Nice, very nice. So if the game's on the Xbox store, that means I can probably get it for PC as well. Because PC is definitely my preferred way of gaming for Xbox games. Ooh, creepy. We already have a name for this game, don't we? Showed it off last year. Wow. This, uh, this conference is happening. Yep, there it is. The Will of the Wisps. 2019. Wow. I thought for sure that game was coming out this year. This conference is happening like right in the middle of the day when I start yawning all the time. World premiere. The Blue Wizard's getting old. The Blue Wizard needs his nap. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, um... I'm not even going to guess at the name, but I think I've heard of this game before. So you're awake. Okay. Just like death is not your fate. Maybe not. Just yet. I might be thinking of a similar game. From Software and Activision. Oh, maybe this is that game. I thought that game came out already. It's like a uh, Dark Souls, but J Japan with samurai. <laughs> Goodbye. I think I saw some YouTubers have early access to this game. I guess I thought this game was already out. Stabby stab. Sweet revenge. Ooh, that's that's creepy. It looks really good though. What's it called? Sekiro. Shadows died twice. Oh, maybe this is a different game than what I'm thinking. That doesn't ring any bells. Also, 2019. Please welcome from Bethesda Game Studios. Ooh. Todd Howard! Oh, are they gonna talk about 76 already? Nah, nah, they won't show too much. Bethesda has a conference later today, they won't blow the load this early. Give all of you an exclusive world premiere first look at Fallout 76. Oh, they are doing it. I'm surprised they would do this a few hours before their own conference. Yes, Fallout 76 is a prequel to all the other games, and oh. it is our biggest one yet. It is four times the size of Fallout 4. What? Set in the hills of West Virginia. I wasn't expecting this. I thought Bethesda would save everything for the conference later today. It's so beautiful. What a beautiful mushroom. So this means they're gonna talk about the next Elder Scrolls during their conference, right? Years after our great 
operation began. Four times bigger than Fallout 4. Jeez. Hopefully there's plenty to do in that size of a map. <laughs> Just walking past some uh, perfectly good power armor there. Interesting. Ultimately, America itself. Oh, nice. Woo! That was a nice tease. Hopefully they have more for us uh, later tonight. And then release the game in 2018. World premiere. Oh, Todd Howard is gone. He disappeared while we were distracted. Oh, hey, it's Crackdown 3. Been hearing some, uh, some problems with this game already in development. Let's see if they mention anything. Or give us a date. Oh, that's cool. Alright, that was pretty cool. I played Crackdown 1, but not Crackdown 2. I'm actually looking forward to this game. I am getting this up oh, February 2019. I'm getting a Saints Row feeling from that, so. We'll see. What next? Ooh, Metro Exodus. I forgot about this one. I want to see this one. I really like the Metro games. All aboard the hype train! Most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. It runs on coal. Those who speak our language might be enemies. Our hour of glory. Hooray, more pep talks! Amen. To be fair, I haven't finished Last Light, so I should probably get around to doing that. I don't know if it's necessary, but I should probably do that. <laughs> and with the wave of his hand, he made it rain. Graphics look really nice. Oh, you got me, you damned heretics. <laughs> oh, I thought he missed the train there for a second. Exodus. When is that? 2019. Everything's 2019. I like E3, but last E3 and this E3 seems to be a lot of 2019 games. Oh, hey, yeah, Phil. Was that guy should say something hot monkey? What I love about our art form is the vast range of creative Ord. Ford? From grim post Lord. Lord Lord Hot Monkey. Okay. Whatever All right. These creators build, Lord Hot Monkey it is. Story they tell, whatever sound This Microsoft E3 they press conference was brought to you by Lord Hot Monkey. Lord Hot Monkey. Lords of everybody. We This reminds me of my workplace a few days ago, where we were running a tournament bracket to compare the best Pixar and Disney movies. The Incredibles won. Look out! I don't think it's the best, it's a good movie, but... Speaking of Incredibles, Incredibles? Control ice. Incredibles? Control it. Herc. Long time no see. <gasps> Hercules made it pretty far in that bracket too. Look out! This is kind of weird without sound effects. Game looks good. Animation and graphics wise. Is that? What's up with you, Mickey? Mickey. You're too late. Dun dun dun. Now let's see if they can keep to that date. Oh. Sea of Disappointments. I still have high hopes for this game. I'm just disappointed it didn't start out with a lot of content. And was fully priced. Not making that mistake again. I'm gonna wait until it has a lot more content before I buy it. I actually like meeting new people. I'll give you ten for it. What was that? Cursed Sales, Forsaken Shores, July and September. I'll keep an eye on those. Forza? Maybe one of these days I'll try Forza out again. Actually, is this Forza? 
Yeah, yeah, it has to be Forza, right? One of these days, maybe I'll try it out. The games look nice, graphically. I just haven't had a strong urge to play them. I actually wonder if they're gonna show more Halo, or if just a snippet at the beginning is all we're getting. They have to show more, right? They probably open on it and end on it. What? Was I expecting to see that? <laughs> that just seems slightly out of place. Set in beautiful, oh. historic Britain. Don't spend too much time on this. Forza Horizon 4. Only because it's not a game I'm interested in. It, it in should be an open world, so they should all be in the same area, Zambia. right? The same map? The Guess we'll find out. When you play, Crash! You play with the entire community. Ooh, nice. And that means nice. the other drivers you'll meet in the game will be real people with all the variety, spontaneity, and fun that real people bring. Plus, a lot more crashing. More thrilling on Xbox One X by the brand new 60 FPS mode. Oh, wow. 60 F FPS mode. Andy is bouncing around the gym. Did they not have 60 and FPS as you can see, before? Horizon 4. Everyone's in a cutscene. In Horizon 4, every <laughs> season nice touch. changes the world around you, with each bringing its own unique beauty and unique gameplay. One of the great things about this shared world is that it's... Hate to be janitors to clean up after that. People you meet. <laughs> Let's all drift together! Seasons, time of day... They can't really be doing this all on stage at the same time, right? In winter. Quick! Drop actual snow on the audience. This actually looks pretty cool. And now a blimp has appeared over the ice to signal the start of a new world event. Event begins. Forsython Live invites the entire community to come together and cooperate to win big rewards. Notice how they're not showing any crashing whatsoever. To the event, I'd like to show you they're crashing into fences, but not each other. A new event across the whole world. Every season, or trees. There are new reasons to play Forza Horizon 4. In Forza Horizon 4, you will live in a vast, beautiful world. <laughs> that guy just peaced out from the crowd. Change everything. Screw it, I'm in last place. I'm just Forza leaving. October 2nd. Nice. In Xbox Game Pass on the it's on PC. PC. If I decide to pick it up, maybe I will. On the PC. Please welcome back, Phil Spencer. I still question how much of that they were actually playing. This is Fortnite, right? Is this the Halo Battle Royale we've been waiting for? <laughs> Watch as they have like a Master Chief exclusive skin. Wouldn't be surprised. War mode. Is that like 50v50? I actually think this game might be sitting inside my Xbox 360 right now. Really tempted to go check. Uh, it's gonna guess Deus Ex, but I don't think this is Deus Ex. Uh, The Vision? Division 2? Uh, I don't think that would show up now. Oh wait, maybe it is the vision. Gardens grow on rooftops. Their fences patrolled with rifles. Agents of the division are the only ones standing against it. But is it expansion though? When it's or is it division two? Within. The division two. Yep, there it is. Work in progress. Powered by snowdrop. If I knew my engines better, I'd probably already know what this game is. Ubisoft is a clear sign that it's a uh, another Tom Clancy game, Del. I have no idea what this is. Well, they're not in nature. Dropped right through the ceiling. Let me see if I can get this. At a zoo? Oh, this is probably still the division. A toy? I'm a little slow. Merry Christmas. 
Merry Christmas. Shoot it! I got dinner tonight. Ooh, Black Friday. I wonder if they had great sales on The Division, the first game. Okay, sure. So, I never played the first Division. I can't remember what console a lot of my friends got it on. But it was a console I didn't oh, have at the okay. time. Definitely from the capital. Also, I heard map. some mixed ratings, reviews about the game, so I just passed it up altogether. Our enemy still bullet sponges. Actually, kind of looked like that angle was gonna throw it right back at himself. Oh, he's awfully close to the big guy. Matt, I need your help. Over here. Come on, Matt. Pick up the slack. It's a good thing the big guys didn't turn around to pump Matt full of lead. Unfortunately, big guy seems to have destroyed the stream. Whoa! Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Oh, I'm I'm stuck. Can somebody help me? Still stuck. I am in dire stress and conflict. Help me. These people sound kind of bored playing this game. Got him. Or extremely calm. I'm down. Oh no, that explosion that probably surprised me hit me from behind. I am down. Oh crap, Matt, watch out! Surprised they, they didn't get this guy sooner. Thank you for the revive, Meg. Probably because he's the bullet sponge. Oh, there goes his armor. Ah! You're on your own. Ah! You're on your own. Level up! Level 30! Oh, sweet! Good Great. job, everybody. We did it. Guys wanna check out the plane? There'd be just a tiny bit more screaming, I feel. Yelling, at least. Let's get Joe in on this. Get plenty of yelling in here then. Jesus. Whoa, that's nuts. Oh wow, I'll Great idea. Let's just die. Odd point voice acting. Take the capital back. I think we're ready. Three, two, one, go, 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 go. You have to be level 30. Everybody know that. And they got mowed down instantly. Instantly. But let's talk about what's happening today. Tom Clancy's The Division. <laughs> People got really excited when they saw Elder Scrolls for a second. And then they probably realized it's Elder Scrolls Online. The conference should be ending soon. So maybe this is the end of conference uh, montage. Oh, this looks like the indie. Uh, yeah, maybe this is like an indie montage. Good game. I like Vermintide too. Really hard to start off on, but once you level up a little bit, then it, it becomes a lot easier. A lot more fun. Conqueror's Blade. Don't know what that is. Looks interesting. Waking looks interesting too. Wargroove! When are we gonna get Wargroove? I've been waiting for that on a Switch forever! I've been meaning to stream this game too. Alright, maybe we have a few more games. Maybe they're going for an hour and a half. Still have not played a single one of these new Tomb Raider games. Played some of the older ones. When I was younger. Have not touched any of the new ones though. Even though everyone tells me they're really good. Protect me, tree! Protect me, door! Door did a poor job of protecting. 
All this conference is doing is reminding me how many games there are that I need to play. Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Become the Tomb Raider. For the third time. This generation. Oh, is this Skate? They're actually bringing back Skate? When was the last time we had a Skate game? This conference is also reminding me of how many game series I've never touched or played. Is this Skate or is this a Skate-like game? Session. Huh. All right. Why is no one holding the line? The line must be held. Look, he wants to hold the line. Resident Evil 2 remake or just a new Resident Evil. Oh, Devil May Cry. Even better. Maybe. He's a real pro at smacking demons around. That's why I built him that well-functioning arm. <laughs> to kick demon ass. <laughs> Thanks for the exposition. Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry 5. All the 2019 games. Capcom, producer Matt Walker and director Hideaki Itsuno. That way they can get delayed and be pushed past the next E3 and we can see them next E3 as well. English, English is hard. Matt, you do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been 10 years. <laughs> DLC content. The, the delicious last course. More Cuphead. No! With Cuphead and Mugman. And Elder Kettle! Damn! Miss Chalice. We got a female in there. Send me three people. <laughs> okay. The delicious last course. Oh, next year. Elder Kettle, I want you to be a playable character. What is this? <gasps> He's so cute! I feel like I've seen this game before. It's Legend of Zelda like, isn't it? Excellent question! Looks fun. I really should be writing down a lot, a lot of these games. Yes, I agree completely. Yes, with that statement. Oh dear. Ganon, no! Tunic. The rest of our briefing, everything you show you, will be world premiere games no one has seen before. Ooh. Still got about 15 minutes left, so... Bring it on. Oh my gosh. Are the heroes we could only imagine uniting to fight for our survival? Oh dear. <laughs> oh, Bandai Namco. Oh, all right. Oh, can't say I was ever expecting this. Oh, my word. Goodbye, Freezer. Jump force. Jump force. Oh my word. Unite to fight. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. Even got Death Note there at the end. World premiere. 
<laughs> Move over, Smash. We got anime now. I like to jump games. You guys should work on Hellblade. That was such a good looking game, and then they canceled it. Hellblade? Hellraid. Hellraid. That was the name of the game. <laughs> that one showed initiative. Hire her on the spot. Something comic booky. The three of you would be needed again. You always wait. What? I have no idea what this is. Battle Toads. Gameplay now. A brand new game featuring body morphing genre mashups, three player couch co op, 4K hand drawn 2.5D <laughs> graphics, and broad non specific feature declarations. They're back. Ah. Uh, well, we might have to do that on the channel. That's about yell out Fog Cry. Is this, uh, just cause four? And no one was ready for it. Square Enix would point to just cause four. I don't know about Avalanche Studios. Be a big reveal if it hadn't been leaked. Oh, they're running out of time. Ha! Huh, it is making a show, I know, starting to worry. He's so cute! Gears of War pop! Gears pop. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's on App Apple Store. It's a mobile. Pop. A collaboration with our friends at Funko to bring a unique mobile spin to the world of Gears. And to sell merchandise. Oh, not the only title yet, Gears 5. Nice. Next time on Gears of War, the soap opera, the drama. Where are we going? Back to where it all began. We. Yeah. Yeah, stab it, please. Now here's some more Halo. We shared our most diverse. We're not getting more Halo, are we? Every measure. Thanks. And have a great evening. Oh, what was that? Ha! Huh. You got Windows Crash. Blue screen of death. But red screen of death. Is this the Halo I thought? Doesn't look like it. Hacks? Uh, watchdogs? <laughs> E3 trailer. Red. They've been hacked! World premiere of Watch Dogs 3. Or Halo. Looking like Watch Dogs 3. They voted my city the worst place to live in America. Mm. Maybe not. CD Project Red. Can't deny it, it's all true. That would be Cyberpunk? 2077. That makes sense. I'd be alive. Ooh. <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077. Coming out 2019. Well, wasn't Halo, but eh. At least we got to see more of Cyberpunk, finally. And here's the end of conference montage. So, let's see. While we're going through them, games that were interesting. Cyberpunk. 
Crackdown. Already looked good. Tomb Raider. I need to get those games first, or play those games first. I'm excited for Metro. Definitely gonna be playing that when that comes out. <laughs> Gears of War. Give me a reason to go back and play Vesperia. This, this was like an average Xbox conference, I felt. Big focus on the games, lots of games, not all of them exclusive. That game, right there, Jump Force. Man! You have to pick that up. Oh, The Division 2. Maybe I'll pick that up this time around. Glad to see some DLC for Cuphead's coming. Barely say anything about Halo 5, maybe they'll say more- Oh, Halo 6? be Halo 6. So, probably get more information about that soon. I'll pause that. Um, it was, it was an, it was a good conference. I would say it was like super exciting. They had some good reveals that I really enjoyed. Get me excited for games. I'm gonna have to go back, write down some of those games, get the dates. Um, a lot of those games are gonna be in 2019, so still gonna be waiting a while. But some of the games that come out later this year, kind of excited for those ones. So uh, that was the Microsoft Xbox conference. I believe next of the big three up is going to be Sony. Although later today, we're going to have the Bethesda conference. I don't think I'm going to be doing a live reaction to that. But we'll see. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Depends if I have the time. But just want to thank you all for watching. This is Jacob the Blue Wizard from Callus Gaming signing out. See you next time.